Say hi, Mona Be. Hello. Turistan dateng. Hello. Begini guys, so kali tau. Bagoi indai indai. Kita nanti hindi kan? Kita nak buka mesa, bahay garden, kaya. Medyo stricto po sila pagdating sa ano kaya hindi kami basta-basta hindi nakakapasok yung mga pakita-kita ng kunti ng mga kung ano-ano so, so here is me yan na yung mga view so kung ilang steps yan you see see this is Bahay uh, Garden In Haifa, Israel. Ken, Ken. Iba. Nandun pa waiting. Of, it, of the Baha'i faith, he started the faith, and the faith is called after him, Baha'u'llah. They were brought from Persia. Baha'u'llah was exiled. He was uh, basically he was sent out of Persia to the Ottoman Empire, and he was a prisoner of the Turkish government. Eventually, they sent him to a country, to his, and he lived in the city of Akko. Akko is right in prison in Akko. He was released from prison, and he lived his last years near Akko. Maybe you uh, sometimes because I know your groups visit the boat place. This and the Baj near Akko, the beautiful mansion there. There are also gardens near Akko. No mountain, but the gardens. So Baha'u'llah buried, he died in 1892. He's buried near Akko. The holiest place in the world for the Baha'is is there, near Akko, where the tomb of Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder. The first prophet, the Bab, is buried in Haifa, here in the shrine of the Bab. The building with the golden dome is the shrine of the Bab. The world center of the Baha'i religion here in in Israel, in Haifa, you're standing in the center. So Baha'i faith is monotheistic, so they have only one God, like Christians or Islam, there's only one God, creator of the earth. Baha'is believe in the unity of all the nations, all of the countries in the world, no difference between different races and nations, everybody considered equal. Also, Baha'is believe that all of the prophets that came before Baha'u'llah and the Bab, like Moses, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, they were also true prophets prophets sent by God. But Baha'u'llah is the newest prophet. His message is the most suitable for our own times. Baha'is have their own holy books, they have their own prayers, holidays, calendar, laws. So it's a separate religion. There are about 8 million Baha'is in the world. So it's not big. About 8 million people today. Baha'is live all over the world. The biggest community is in India. But there are also Baha'is in every country, including the Philippines or any other country. And of course, they translate their books into the local languages so if you want to read Baha'i holy books you can read them in Tagalog or any other language you want from Spanish to English to Russian so this is a separate religion and the holy land is Israel now Baha'is do not live in Israel in Israel we only have volunteers several hundred volunteers that come from all over the world and they serve here and take care of the place so we are not Baha'is we work for the Baha'is we are guides but the guy who checked you at the entrance the, the Shomer the God is a Baha'i volunteer. So, this is a new religion, quite successful. It is a beautiful place, it belongs to the Baha'is. I will just say that as we go to the garden, you will see statues, eagles, peacocks, you see here uh, different trees, shapes. It's only for the beauty of the place.
place it's only for beauty the gardens here are only to give you a spiritual experience that's all they have no religious significance so this is a very short introduction to the faith questions ladies and gentlemen if you have okay that's okay we're happy to hear that no so ladies and gentlemen now if you have some questions along the way feel free to ask me now we'll start moving we'll move slowly and you can take pictures but remember don't take picture of every plant that's okay <laughs> you can't <laughs> Steps, stairs, 1,700 mega. And the top is the where we started. <laughs>
Special thanks, Gerald Tabatha Canaban Ag Hollyland Tours. Thanks for watching. Please do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel, Evelyn Travel Vlog. Video Editor, Prince of Pen.